Hi Cancerians, this is Marishi, you're my channel Shadaka. I've already pulled out five cards to see what is the story which wanted to come through for this week. You've got the Devil's Energy in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, center of the reading is a King of Pentacles in reverse. You've got the Princess of Swords, the last card is a Five of Swords. Behind the deck is a Fool card in reverse. When I broke the deck, Eight of Cups, which says a lot, okay? Cancerians out there, some of you might be dealing with an odd sign person, probably a Capricorn. Some of you might be dealing with an air sign person or a water sign, okay? Cancerians, you are in a phase right now where you might be deciding that it is, it is time. It is time to let go. It is time to release yourself from a toxic energy which you were clinging on to for quite some time, okay? You're finally making the decision after taking your own sweet time, okay? You're finally making that decision to release yourself, to let go. How much ever it might have been difficult in the past, now, it seems like it is the right time, you're prepared now to move on. It's almost like you are fighting with yourself to stand your ground, to push away these three cards, okay? Because it, it speaks about uh, releasing yourself, letting go, okay, of the burden which was weighing you down for quite some time. Now you're willing to just dump it and walk on, okay? Something which was very unstable, something which did not... Um, give much security within the situation. You're willing to just, you know, just let it be, okay? This, this is a difficult decision. To reach here, you have, you had thought it through. It took you some time to even reach this phase. Because I see for some time it was a difficult decision to take. It wasn't easy for you to, uh, you know, cut the cords. Even though it wasn't giving you much, you were still hanging there. Just didn't know how to release yourself because you were hoping for um, things to turn out differently. But now, you're literally coming out very fiercely, very aggressively, pushing this energy away, making this solid decision that this is it. I don't want any of it anymore. It's not even working for me. Hmm? It's not even worth it. What hanging in there? Pointless. Hmm? That is a way you're coming through and you very much uh, made the decision. It's a very calculated, okay? Even with the food card up here in reverse, it's a very calculated. It's not just, you know, uh, one day just wake up and you're like, okay, I'm moving on. No. You had thought it through. You have assessed the situation quite, uh, for quite some time. And this is where, you know, where you have come to. You know, you have finally made that decision that, you know, you need to just let it be and move on. And you're doing that. Hmm? You, uh, you're doing that. You, I, I see your energy very much fighting this energy, okay? Fighting this toxic energy. You don't want to think twice anymore. You don't want anybody to tell you otherwise. You're going to stick your ground. I get an energy about you. The word coming through is liberate. When I looked at that card, the princess's words. You're liberating yourself from a situation which was not serving you any good in the past. Okay, so you're liberating yourself, which is good. Okay, very determined, very determined to make it happen. Okay, even with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away, literally walking away from all these disappointments. You're leaving your past behind and you're moving on. 
which is nice. The full card, yeah, six of pentacles. So very calculated move, deciding that you, there is nothing much happening, okay? No give and take energy, no communication, nothing. Not, like literally a dead end, okay? Another six. So it's almost like it's fated. It's a fated to happen. Now, you, I see you very much uh, walking away with your chin high. It's almost like you, you're prepared. You're ready now. If you did it earlier, you might have retracted your steps. But now I feel like this is it. This is the time. And you feel no qualms about it to move on. No regrets or anything of that sort. Okay? Something is being revealed. Something is being revealed or has been revealed. That might be the reason why you have finally decided this is not working anymore. It's pointless. Okay? Something has been revealed. With the Princess of Cups uh, tells me um, you might have been assessing what was going on. Okay? Uh, this this girl is actually looking at this cup up here okay looking at the contents of the cup she's almost like assessing what is it it's almost like I feel like um, you know scrutinizing every events in the past going back and actually looking at the credibility authenticity of you know, what was being offered, whether it was genuine enough or not. Very much assessing, and it's, it's pretty much um, this person thinking about or assessing whatever, whatever has happened or whatever is happening right now because something is being revealed, okay? It's stressing it out, stressing this person out, okay? They're losing their sleep over this. I wasn't sure what was going on, but somebody was a player in the mix, okay? So whatever was being revealed was about the other person, what they were doing. That is why the Princess of Cups was actually looking at what was going on, okay? So something about this person might have come, you know, might have been revealed. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with the Gemini as well. Um, I strongly feel there was a player energy, okay? They might have, uh, what I see right now is like, you know, a magician putting an illusion, okay? A magician can get away with anything if they want, yeah? Like literally, they have their tricks under their sleeves, right? They can pull out the rabbits out of the hats and we have no idea how they do that, yeah? One moment it's not there and the other moment it's, it's just the pigeons are flying out. How? Yeah, it's beyond me. Anyways, mm, so it's almost like uh, what, I, what I get is this person whom you were dealing with was actually building up this illusion of the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is all what you, what everybody thrive for. You know? it's, it's everything in there. Okay, you have these coins hanging, okay, abundance. You have a couple in here, there is children in here, there is dogs in there. So everything what you want in life is there. Okay, a beautiful family and you're well settled. Okay, you, you don't have any worries about anything. Hmm? There's grandparents in there. But this does, yes, there is two dogs in there. So, yeah. So, okay, I was just lost for a second. Uh, so this person was throwing you the illusion of having this all and you might have actually fallen for it you might have actually believed it because the way he presented it 
or way or the way he played you was so um, it was subtle. You couldn't catch on hmm? until now. Until now. Yeah. Is a swords or the queen of swords? There is a very strong energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini person or another air sign person. Okay. Somebody really played you. Okay. There was no um for their own advantage. Okay. And uh, it seemed like you couldn't see through it. You just couldn't see through it. It was not clear enough to see what was actually going on. Hmm? And it seems like it was the, uh, it, they did it knowingly. It was part of their plan to keep it under the wraps. They knew they can, uh, you know, get away with it. Yeah. Because there is a selfishness about this person whom you're dealing with. Very self-centered energy. They think about uh, for themselves. The way it's coming through is like they, they think it's alright to do this. Somebody who plays everybody. A queen of swords upright, I would say a very fair person, a very just person who thinks about everybody, okay? Who um, you know, you can trust her. You can trust this person to do the right thing. But here, she's in reverse, and this person is all uh, is okay. I, I, I always want to say this person thinks this is all right. Okay, and they're very used to playing these kind of uh, tricks. very much used to. It's normal for them somehow. I get the energy of a cat just looking at this girl, uh, lady in the picture. It's almost like um, um, the cat who could just get away by, you know, uh, it's almost like you trip the bowl of milk and this cat just walks away as if they didn't have anything to do with it that kind of energy okay even if they are caught in their act they are tactful enough to just get away and make you believe it wasn't even if you saw them doing it if you saw this cat you know uh, chipping that bowl okay you saw it with your own damn eyes but the cat would make you believe no, that wasn't me. Okay? That is the way this person is coming through. Hmm? They can just uh, slip away. And you will start to rethink. Yeah? Was I? Was I crazy? Okay? That kind of a, uh, that kind of a vibe about that. There's so much betrayal which had uh, which is going on. There's bloody tense words on your back right now. I would have said this was a repeated energy. Like I said earlier, for them it's normal. For them it's alright to do it. And they will just get away. Making you believe uh, you're just assuming. It's a repeated energy. Okay, they might have betrayed you not once. Uh, I might as well say a couple of times. When I showed you the Princess of Cups assessing the cup, she was actually thinking back at what had happened in the past. And now she's like, okay, I see it now. And I don't want to stand this bullshit anymore. Not willing to um, entertain this energy anymore. Entertain this person anymore. Okay? Because this person feels very much betrayed and defeated right now. Yes, with the with the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, they're totally done. They're totally done. It's it's like a dead horse today. This horse is not moving anywhere. It's the slowest upright. It is the slowest moving um, horse in the deck. But then when it's in reverse, this horse is not going anywhere. It has no intention to even move. You know, 
get up and move. No. It's a dead horse. Someone is not willing to look back anymore. Someone is not willing to go back in there anymore to see what, you know, it could be or could have been. No. Somebody doesn't want to. That's why I said somebody is prepared now to just move on without any qualms about their past because they freaking don't care anymore because hmm? we don't like yeah, it's almost like suffocative for them did I see the tennis sports before? no yes it, it's almost like um, going back into the past is something which yeah which depresses them they don't they don't want to even think about it yes they don't want to even think about it it's it's dead end okay they even want to cut the communication out like completely cut the contact totally done somebody is totally done and somebody doesn't it's in reverse somebody doesn't want to sit and uh, cry over spilt milk anymore time is up for that okay you might have for some time but not anymore somebody is ready to move on to see what is out there because with the full car somebody is chasing or making new dreams for them somebody is like the dream which they had now they're letting go okay because it wasn't worth it Okay, there is nothing coming out of it. There is no point waiting in there. Now, somebody is um, actually dreaming of, you know, new dreams, making new dreams, hopeful about the future. Yes. What is out there? What is out there? Like the two cups which are standing. They, they don't want to look back in the past where these three cups have spilled over. They're walking away from those cups. Okay, they focus on the two cups which are standing behind them. Okay, that is their new dreams. Okay, which they are willing to chase. It is overwhelming for them. Okay. It is overwhelming for them to even think what will come out because it's 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 a new venture in life someone is willing to take it but very much overwhelmed okay two of pentacles they are juggling okay they're unsure very uncertain about you know how things are going to end up Okay, inside they're scared, outside they look like this fierce lioness, inside they're pretty much, oh my god, you know, but still, you know, didn't I say they're fighting against themselves, nothing is going to stop them, not even themselves, their fears are not going to come in between them and their future, which is lovely, yeah. They have fiddled with this, um, you know, what to do about, you know, what to do about my future. They have thought it through. They have taken the time to think it through. Very unhappy right now. Okay. Yes, this is the past. Okay. Some of you might be mothers, like a parent, like you have a child or children. The reason you might have hanged in there for some time and you were not willing to let go was because you were unhappy, okay? And uh, you didn't, you were stuck in this, you know, uh, you were not willing to let go or move on from this energy which was toxic, which was not giving you much, was because for some of you, a child might be involved. Okay, so you 
you have to think about them as well. That is why it was keeping you stuck. Huh? You were hanging in there, which I told you about, just because you couldn't move on just like that. Yeah, you just juggled. You just hung in there thinking something would come out of it. But no, it didn't. Now somebody is very determined. Okay? How much uh, There is a determination about having this cup. Which is the ultimate cup. Okay? The big cup. But then somebody is not in the mood to chase this cup. Although they want it, they, um, they're not all that focused on getting this cup. If that makes sense. They, they don't want to manifest this cup anymore. Some of you might be unhappy because of the past and you don't want to, you know, fall what is the time 21 minutes you don't want to fall for the same shit anymore that is why you are anxious you know about chasing your dreams although this might be a good thing you you're not looking for what for another you know relationship at least not yet okay You want to stand on your own feet, like now. That's that's your focus. You want to feel worthy again. Is there anything else? Yeah. I don't see uh, you chasing or wanting to jump into another, another relationship yet, okay? Because you are confused out there whether you deserve it or what if history repeats, okay? What if you have the same experience like your past, okay? That put you, uh, puts you off balance puts you off balance you want to, you don't even want to think about it yeah I've got the eight of pentacles as well something is coming through I want to say concerns out there I might be speaking directly to the cancer or the cross watch okay you know how it works um something really big is coming through Maybe someone is already invested in you and you, you don't want to entertain that. Because we saw the Ace of Cups and now we have the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody is coming forth. You just can't. Yeah? You can't even think about um, about starting over again. At least not yet. You know, you're not ready. Okay, you're not ready. But consider it. Okay, don't just um, you know just push them out. Yeah, there is a very strong energy about you want to. Um, Take it in your own pace. You're okay by being yourself and you like being by yourself. So you're not going to accept anything which is being presented to you. You want to wait. You just want to wait to see how things uh, will work. Yeah. For now, you just want to release yourself, okay, double eggs. 
You just want to release yourself and see where things go from here on. You don't want to be feel, um, feel trapped in another relationship or another, you know, similar situation. You, know, you don't want to stress yourself out. You want to take the time off for yourself, if that, make, uh, that makes sense. Yeah? Yeah. It seems like even with the Queen of Wands, you want to be your own boss. Oh my god, what are you guys up to? Ace of Wands. Something really solid. How much ever you try to, how much ever you try to push them off, something is really coming through. Okay? To actually make things right. Yeah. Because the world is upside down right now. It's almost like something beautiful is being offered to you whatever your situation is it doesn't matter you're trying to come out of a crappy relationship you're trying to put that behind and you might be thinking i'm going to be hermit for the next 20 years that's not that's not um, in the charts okay because you've been um, offered something big and it's not even starting Small, small, it's, it's going for, you know, it's coming up with a bang. And then you're like, oh my God, is this actually happening? Yeah? That's stressing you out as well because with the temperance in your house, you can't, you know, wrap your head around it because it's actually happening. How could this happen when I'm so fucked up, you know, just few weeks before how is this even supposed to work this way is the universe supposed to work this way <laughs> you know that kind of thing you know you, you just can't believe your own luck hmm? you feel very much unworthy for even taking up whatever is being offered because you feel like you know you don't deserve it that's not for you to decide, okay? Queen of Pentacles, it's almost like, you know, you don't feel your worth anymore. Maybe you need to work on yourself. Your past is not going to determine your future. Think that before, you know? You hide away, you know, and try to be the cat lady, don't. Because I do see you as a queen of uh, queen of wands, and we have a cat in there. Yeah, it's almost like I am powerful, but I want to be by myself. Yeah, so I'm going to just, you know, just push away anybody who's trying to come in contact with me. You've come a long way. You've come a long way, but then you have to give yourself the chance to start over again. Yeah, you might have lost something big, okay? You had it all once upon a time, and then it slipped out of your hands. Look at the progression from the Queen of Pentacles to the Princess of Pentacles. This woman has lost everything, which was, you know, even with the King of Pentacles here. She, she had lost something. Now it's coming back. You have to let yourself embrace this new chapter in life. Even if it means you have to start over again. Hmm? Because if it has a potential, you need to work on it. You've come a long way. Okay? But this pentacle is tiny. It can grow into this big, big ass pentacle. Okay? Which you have lost in the past. But you need to work on what you have. Okay? And just not throw away what you have. No. Work on it, how much of a time it takes. Now, you don't have to jump into anything. Take your time. If there is a potential, you might as well see where it's going. Okay? Judgment and the fire of pentacles. It's almost like I want to say, my concerns out there. 
I'm a Cancerian as well. There is some kind of a, you know, destiny. No, something is being destined for you guys. Something is going to change. It feels like a wind is changing for us. Let me add myself into the picture as well. Something is changing hmm? with the judgment card. It's almost like, you know, the divine is getting involved. Okay? To take you out of this five pentacles situation. Let me tell you guys, I have done another video last week, only the Camps Heavens, and um, I've uploaded it but didn't publish it. I wasn't sure whether I should. Maybe I will, okay? If you get to see it, then I have. If you don't get to see it, then I did. It was, it was a really good reading, okay? It was a really good reading. You might as well watch it if it's out there. I feel the wind is changing for us. You're being taken out of this because that, this card did come out in that in that reading as well. That's why I wanted to connect the readings. Okay, if this is your situation for some time, the five medical situation, and it was not all that, you know, you know, you weren't all that satisfied with life. You might feel like, you know, this is this is just not it. This is not where I want to be. A judgment is being, you know, there is a divine intervention within so many of your lives. Okay? Where? Okay, we have fives now, double five. And the five of wands in reverse. It's almost like you don't have to fight anymore. People are, uh, people who, you know, if you were under these conflictual situations before, you know, you were going through these hardships in life. Now, things are going to, you know, settle down. Things are going to get a little better. And I want to say with all that three aces which came through, Things are really going to pick up for you guys in a big way. Okay? Yes. I would say be prepared. Be prepared for your future. Because things are manifesting in a big way. Yeah. I want to say as well, be prepared to wait, you know, be open, be actually open. Don't fight against it, okay? Don't fight against it. Let it come through. Open it, uh, you know, mm. receive it with open hands. Hmm? King of Swords in reverse and the Three of Cups. Uh, I also want to add in. There are people in the mix who has their own selfish agendas. Be aware of them. Okay? And even if something is coming through, don't let people know what's going on with your life. If blessings are coming through, don't shout it out from the rooftop. Keep it to yourself for some time. Okay? Because not everybody is your friends. Yeah? Keep that in mind. Yes. New beginnings. You might have to make a decision regards to it with the two of swords. Uh, you have upper hand whatsoever hmm? people might not be happy okay people might not be happy uh, uh, these people might have hurt you in the past okay 
and you are forced into a situation where you are made to take decisions how you want things to manifest for your future okay it's almost like your heart is uh, you know finally getting to heal something like a breakthrough is coming through like you know now this is it this is it in of wands and the two of cups and the four of wands in order to take this opportunity you need to let go of something which is not working completely you know just let it go okay there is nothing happening in there just let it be two of cups in reverse okay four of wands and the four of pentacles let go of something which is not serving you okay you might have had a foundation with them again you might have had stability within 36 minutes i need to stop um, you need to let go of what is not important what is not serving you okay don't have your head up in the clouds thinking this might happen like this if i do something yeah you know don't 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 be in that energy because that is toxic and you need to let go okay think for the future you're already there you know you just have to nudge yourself every um at every point where you start to look back because you know there might be a temptation to see what is uh, behind you but don't okay accept openly whatever is coming through i need to stop here this is marishi on my channel shaloka until next week bye bye